I'm almost 30 and I spent my 20s buying a lot of stuff, all in the pursuit of making more money. So in this video, I'm going over the seven best purchases you can make in your 20s if you want to be rich. Everything on this list greatly increased my income and it'll do the same for you because I truly believe in the statement, where you spend your money dictates your success, especially when you're in the growth phase of your life. Let's get started. The first purchase we are talking about is a really good laptop. Now, yes, you can have a basic laptop, but I'm telling you that that's going to affect your productivity, motivation to work, and it lacks good vibrations. So as you can probably tell, I love Macs. They're beautiful to look at. The new chips are crazy fast and the Mac OS is just built to make you productive and feel creative. You don't need to get a Mac, but make sure the computer you get makes you happy when you use it. PCs are definitely faster for the money, but man, there is a reason why all of my friends and I use Macs. They're just so much cooler to work on and when you feel cool, you produce much cooler things. In the last few years, I really built all my businesses on my laptop. We're talking about a tool that literally makes you money and I just cannot skimp on that. Having a quality laptop will completely change your workflow and make doing work much more enjoyable. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll probably know that I'm a huge believer in leveraging the power of the internet to make money, whether it be making content, designing websites, building businesses, starting an agency or more. And all these things require a computer. So when it comes to your tools, it's really important to know that spending $1,000 or more on a laptop is an investment into your future. Pro tip, getting a slightly used MacBook Pro or Air can save you a lot of money. And if you're a student, you can also take advantage of Apple's education store, which saves about $100 to $200 on every computer they have. And if you're deciding between a laptop and a desktop computer, get the laptop so you can work in new environments and simply dock it to a big screen when you're at home. That's what I did for many, many years. If you're in your 20s, then I encourage you to buy at least one round trip plane ticket a year, if not more. Travel is a luxury, but essential at the same time. The most well-rounded people that I know have seen the world and experienced different cultures through their travels. They're more accepting of others. They understand that the US or wherever they live is not the only great country in the world. And yeah, I definitely credit my travels with a lot of highlights in my life. Another thing that people don't think about is that travel allows you to reset and think about the bigger picture. One of the most defining trips in my life happened when I was 25, when I went to Thailand and Vietnam for two weeks. That was a turning point because when I came back, I had the clarity and motivation motivation to implement a morning routine and begin hustling harder than I've ever done in my life before. I also met amazing friends who I still stay in contact with and it gave me motivation to work hard because travel costs money and I want to make money so that I can have more travel experiences. It's a sort of cycle and motivator for myself that I think about a lot. Plus travel can be quite affordable too if you book with airline points, stay at hostels and eat local street foods. Travel does not need to be posh and luxurious. It just needs to be in a place that challenges your norm. So yeah, if you're young, make traveling to new places a priority. You'll definitely thank yourself. Another great investment to make in your 20s right now is cybersecurity, which is why I'm excited to talk about today's sponsor, NordVPN. You and I browse the internet every day and it's crazy to think how much of our data is out there. Internet data is always being sold from huge internet giants like Google and Facebook. So if you wanna have security when you're on the internet, NordVPN is the best and fastest choice in the industry. Thanks to the threat protection feature, it also blocks annoying ads, malware, malicious websites, Websites and trackers, making it more than just a regular VPN. NordVPN is a VPN that you can use on any device to mask your IP address, along with other cool features that will allow you to use the internet safely. What I personally like about NordVPN is their automatic kill switch, because if you lose connection to the VPN, it will automatically block the device from the web, keeping you safe. They have over 5,400 servers in 60 plus countries, are super easy to use, and one subscription gives you protection on up to six devices. If that still didn't convince you, NordVPN is available for 30 days risk-free, meaning they really stand behind the product. Security is a big deal and people take a lot of risks going online without a VPN. So be sure to check out the link in the description or go to nordvpn.com slash Charlie Chang for an exclusive discount on internet protection with NordVPN. Cherry on the top, you can also pay in Bitcoin and several other cryptocurrencies to keep your purchase anonymous. Now back to the video. Another thing that you should absolutely purchase in your 20s is books. More specifically, books that teach you how to make money, how to be a better person, and any other teachings that are relevant to business. Like literally, your goal should be to accumulate a library of literature. 
I know that for me, once I started reading these types of books when I was 24, my growth absolutely skyrocketed. Books are the best ROI return investment ever because the wisdom and insight that you gain from one single book can stick with you forever and will help you make more money. So with books, you're basically getting mentored with a significant amount of information and advice for a significant amount of time virtually for free. And yeah, reading is an academically proven practice for the most successful people in the world. A study done by Business Insider found that 85% of people read two or more books a month for education and learning purposes, with the most famous billionaires in the world spending many hours of their day reading to learn. The study also found that 86% of the wealthy loved reading compared to 26% of the poor, indicating that there might exist a strong correlation between reading and wealth. If you're looking for a specific book recommendation, I definitely recommend checking out The Millionaire Fast Lane, The Miracle Morning, and The Compound Effect. These are amazing books on entrepreneurship that will completely change your way of thinking. And beyond books, you can also spend money on online courses, trainings and seminars, and whatever else helps educate yourself. But yeah, books, in my opinion, are the best bang for your buck. So please make a book fund, maybe $15 a month, and that is going to change your life. The next really important purchase we're talking about is healthy food. I've gone through periods in my 20s where I ate really bad unhealthy foods, and I really regret it looking back because my productivity and health suffered. Sort of relating to the gym membership, I want to remind you that food and nutrition is one of the most important components of being healthy. So that's really why I encourage you to pay a little bit more to get high quality foods instead of super cheap junk food. So we got like spinach, a salad, we got like salmon, um, arugula, it's one of my favorite vegetables we got. Kale, uh, really awesome. Yeah, I think just like prioritizing getting healthy foods like this. I get that living a healthy lifestyle is likely going to be more expensive than living an unhealthy lifestyle, but it is so, so worth it. You know how people say abs are made in the kitchen? Well, I wanna expand beyond that and say health is made in the kitchen as well. Invest in good food that gives you as many nutritional benefits as possible. Control your consumption of junk food so that you can preserve your health while still enjoying yourself and spoiling your body once in a while. And more importantly, tailor your diet in a way that it still doesn't detract from your energy, drive, and productivity. Millionaire Tim Ferriss interviewed 200 successful people and they said that it was specifically their diet that gave them the boost they needed to work productively. So remember to think about the daily nutrition you need and don't be afraid to experiment with different diets or regimens to determine what works best for you. Really the last thing we want is brain fog with terrible foods because that's like putting diesel in a sports car. You won't be able to do anything at 100% and that is just not a good way to spend your 20s. Like I mentioned earlier, this is the growth stage of your life and you need to be performing at your best. Probably one of the most important things that you guys should spend your money on in your 20s is buying materials to start side hustles. When you're young and in your 20s, that is the perfect time to start a side hustle. You probably don't have as many real responsibilities. You probably don't have kids or a family to feed. And if you're going to screw up, it better be now. I did side hustles all throughout my 20s and it allowed me to make money while learning incredible skills. So for this purchase, what I mean is you want to spend money buying materials or equipment for your side hustle. For example, a camera if you want to do photography or video, a computer if you want to start building websites, a lawnmower if you want to start a lawn mowing business. And yeah, these tools are an upfront cost, but they will multiply themselves over and over again if used correctly. I encourage you guys to try doing at least one service-based side hustle where you do freelance work for clients. They generally pay pretty high hourly wages and are a great way to learn entrepreneurship without investing a lot of money. For example, my touring business out of college actually cost me nothing to start besides maybe some pens and paper. And then when I was 22, I bought a Canon 5D Mark III to do grad shoots and portraits. That $3,000 investment allowed me to do well over $100,000 of shoots. And yeah, your side hustles can literally be in any skills or service you provide. And it's something that can make anyone a solo entrepreneur and get a taste of that self-employed life. And once you go there, it's really hard to go back. So I encourage you to identify some type of service business that you can start and go invest in the right materials to get that side hustle off the ground. Next up is getting some sort of gym membership. I owe a lot of my work discipline to lifting weights and choosing to spend an hour or more a day on fitness is one of the best things I've ever done, seriously. 24 Hour Fitness and LA Fitness are both about $30 a month. There are even cheaper gyms like Planet Fitness. There are tons of smaller mom and pop gyms. 
And of course, you can always have your super expensive gyms like Equinox. I was and still am a member of LA Fitness for going on eight years now, but recently I decided to splurge on Equinox and it's about $350 a month. Now, a gym membership is more a commitment of time and effort than it is spending money. Sure, you'll spend, let's say, $360 a year on membership, but it's the act of going three to five times a week that will boost your endorphins and it will make you make more money. Almost every entrepreneur I know doing over a million dollars a year keeps their health a priority and hits the gym consistently. And they didn't start doing that once they became rich. They did it and then became rich. There really is a big difference there. So yeah, I think investing money and time in a gym membership is non-negotiable and will make you more capable of becoming a high performer. So definitely make this a priority. When you're in your 20s, you should also invest into assets. Now this might seem very broad or unclear, but when I say assets, I really just mean things that increase the value of you, AKA your net worth. And this includes real estate, businesses, stocks, crypto, and most importantly, yourself. Now, for example, I would even consider this car an asset because it helps with marketing and it holds its value quite well. However, a car should be low on the list of assets you buy in your 20s. Rather, dollar cost average into index funds that historically have increased in value by about seven to 8% per year, or start building up a crypto portfolio. Of course, it takes money and time to invest in assets, but what I'm trying to communicate here is that these items should be higher on your list than other material goods like clothing or jewelry. The first thing I always think about before buying something is, is this item or service going to better my life? AKA, is it going to go up in value, thereby increasing my net worth? Is it going to give me a positive experience or memory? Is it going to add to my business? And does this item fall under the law of exponential growth? If it doesn't fit any of those criteria, then it's probably an unnecessary purchase. So you can see why things like stocks and real estate would apply to this criteria. And yeah, like I mentioned before, instead of waiting to save a large sum of money in the hopes that you will make the perfect investment that will allow you to retire, which I think is pretty unrealistic, you should instead allocate parts of your income per week or per month to practice investing and to start small. This is a concept called dollar cost averaging where we continually invest over the long term in order to see tremendous gains. Those are, in my opinion, the seven best purchases you can make in your 20s. I hope this list was helpful. These are honestly the seven things that really had the most impact on my 20s. And if I could go back, I'd really place more emphasis on doing these things as soon as I could because they really were the things that I bought that paid the most dividends. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more videos just like this. I make a ton of content about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.